Good evening. Welcome to Hartwood Turning in the Stable Studios. I have a feeling there may be trouble ahead. And I'm going to I'm going to explain to you why there may be trouble ahead. Just give me two seconds. I move that to comments. And I go over here and I click this button here. There could yeah, be trouble. Why there's going to be trouble ahead. He's back. God, he's he back. He's been he's on back. holiday. He's come back all fresh and full of cheek. So I know what we're going to do, guys. It's just going to be a bit of a nightmare tonight. So he can't. He can't be mid quiet tonight. I, I would. I would say, look out, chat. That's all I can say. Yeah. His 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 last vaccine was a gramophone needle. I think. I'll not be quiet. <laughs> Let me just move that camera a little bit. There we go. And we've got uh, the lovely Joanne as well, because there may be singing ahead. Oh, you got you got Joe in. Joe's here too. Have you noticed? Well, you, did, did, you know, did you notice the bed, this is lovely, Joe. I mean, you know. Hey! Oh. Oh, oh, oh. He's <laughs> off already. <laughs> you are going to get your sweets kicked. <laughs> oh, sweets! Yes. Uh, I, I'm afraid to introduce William now. <laughs> <laughs> so, so we have uh, my good friend William as well, and to help us out. So. That's Good the motley crew. That's the motley crew. <laughs> Not sure about the help bit, but... Oh, well, help or hinder one of the two. Do you know, does it really matter? Maybe, I don't maybe know. Maybe the I like your optimism. <laughs> Good so, evening. Welcome along, everyone. Yeah. Uh, all right, get in the bag and go. Yeah, get out of here. All right, yeah. get out of here. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, things are that bad, guys. It's 22.1 degrees. It's getting warmer in my workshop. How did that happen? The door's open. There's no sunshine, it's getting warmer. 22 degrees it is now. So no tea tonight, just water. Just gin. <laughs> oh, Shh, Terry. Shh, Terry. <laughs> I have a reputation to uphold, Terry. Shh. <laughs> I know, <laughs> just, just gin then. <laughs> so anyway, as it says in the title, we're going to do some spindle turning. God, uh, just so you know the story, um, I was at my local club with the Ulster Wood Turners at the weekend. And we had Emma, the tiny turner, who turned six projects in, in, in a day's session. She was amazing, absolutely amazing. Um, so if your club's booking somebody and they're looking for somebody to be different, Emma's your girl. Fabulous. Anyway, she turned a gunk. <laughs> and I thought, I haven't turned one of them for a while. I think we'll have one of them. Yeah. <laughs> so we're going to turn the gunk. Or maybe two. What were the other five things, just in case we might oh. have a choice? I have no choice, no. <laughs> there may be a choice over the next five weeks because I'm going to be copying them all. <laughs> <laughs> no, she did a quick one at the end. She did a little pendant thing at the end, um, which she supplies all the kit for as usual. Um, she did a beautiful bowl with... Uh, um, What's he called that stuff? Stavager Black. You know, the Ebonizing oh, yeah. Blue. Yeah, the Ebonizing Black, yeah. Did a little bowl, a, a super little bowl with some, uh, like, stars on it. But they were made with, um, they were made with uh, eyeball cutters. Oh. Um, so that was interesting, too, on, on a wide rim. Uh, what else did you tell me? I can't remember off the top of my head. I'll have to go back and look at my phone because I videoed everything. Or as much of it as I could. No doubt you did. I did. Uh, anyway, <laughs> it was a very interesting demo, and I fancy turning turn the gong because it's just a bit of fun. It's just for for a bit crack. And I remember uh, about a year ago, I think maybe maybe a, bit, a little bit longer. Uh, Colin Wade did one as well, and he, he turned a Viking gong. So we're going to have a go at that. We'll have a go at Viking gong as well. I have a bit. Of, I had a bit of trouble just about ten seconds ago. Well, about 10 minutes ago now, I had two lovely pieces of you. These two lovely pieces of you. But if you look For closely at that piece of you, just at, oh, where is it now? Just right here. All the way around there. There's a ring shake in that. And it goes all the way through. Yeah, no good. Right around there. And it's down the sides as well. So you can find it. There's the split all the way down the side. And make a nice okay. light pull. So if I turn that, it's just going to fall apart. 
And it's on both bases, so that had to be quickly thrown on the project table to be cut up for something else. And let me go to the overhead. In the scrap bin. Got a piece of that, a piece of that, and a piece of that. That's the three. Great gonk. Need to get started for a gonk. This is going to be the body. This is a bit, I might big, but it was a rush job. So um, we're going to get these between spindles. So drive center, drive step center in this end, and the live step center in this end. Uh, and I'm going to rough these down. And as I'm roughing these down, the wonderful Joe is going to tell me who's in. But I'll be waiting for a while. Just so I may, I may interrupt Joe in, uh, at times just to you know, know what I'm like. I like to talk a lot. But I don't talk nearly as much as Emma does. True. Okay. Emma talked for Shush. the whole of the five hours she was demonstrating. She talked the whole time. Fabulous. She's been at our club several times and she's does talk a lot, but she's brilliant. Yes. Right, Joe. You can't say you can't say you missed something. No. You didn't, didn't know how she did it because she tells you everything. Which tells is really good, I think. Yeah. It's very, very about good. learning, isn't it? Learning. Yeah. Anyway, good evening and welcome everybody. At the top of my chat, we have Weevil, Richard Feeling, <laughs> Jennifer's <laughs> Craft and Creations. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad Jennifer. Right. We've got Who's Paul this? Finley, Woodton at Home, Raymond Wise. Keep on going. We have Dr. Okay. Bob. Terry Bartlett. Oh. There's Barnwell. Mick Jews. Wow. Hey, oh, hold on. Sorry, sorry. sorry. Did, did you say Mick Jews? I did. Uh, Mike, you must have messed the bed. He's in early. Have you wet the bed or, or, or did somebody kick you out of the chair or what? Why are you in early? I'm confused now. <laughs> he's, a, he's angling at something. You've got to watch out. <laughs> How did Glen Curve Woodwork? Oh, Kavanagh. We've got a hodgepodge of woodwork. Tony Smith. Lucy Bundy Rowe. Don't beat. Robert Clingspar Braces UK. Clint up Wood Dancers. Paul Oyton, the Graves of Berry Turner. That's a change. Change for Doug Miller at Woodspun Round. Oh no, it's Andy. Is it? Oh, Hello, what? Intermediate. Ian Lee. Andy, the Intermediate Turner. Harry Let me just bring my tools a little bit closer. Why have I still got a slight lump on that? Hmm, okay. Let me just advance this tool rest a fraction. I'd use a small one, it's not that wide, is it? Yeah, it's too wide for the small one, but uh, yeah. just a fraction yeah. too wide. So it's better to, better to have something to run onto than falling off the end. Yeah, I thought it was only about four inches wide, that. It's about five but, inches, I think. Good yeah. Bennett. Spider Spid. Greg Alexander. Haven't seen Greg for a while. Not worry too much about what shape that is. Need a mm, cannon great. on that now. Very important tool. Stephen the Wood Dude. Stephanie. Evening, Stephen. So we've still got a little flat on this end. At the moment, that's just... the bottom of the chat. We do have 55 people in. I'm sure I've not read 55 names out there. Oh, Donna Love Angel Artist is in. Stephen wants to know what a gonk is. He's never heard of such a thing. A gonk? <laughs> Um, a gonk is a um, a mythical creature uh, akin to a haggis. So you'll find out in due course. Just keep watching, Steve. Just watch this space. You'll discover what a gonk is. So next thing I need to do then is get a ten on the end of this. Nearly got confused then. And I'm going to use my SC2 chuck. This evening, so it's only a tiny little tan. Oh, 
Because then we set this on Saturday. Don't forget, when you use a bidding and parting tool, to use the bevel. So rub, rub the bevel. And then lift the handle to pick up the cup. Long way to go. Long way to go. We're still we using the bevel. Do do. A little bit more. Perfect. I hope. It's either perfect or it's too short, one of the two. <laughs> Let's get that one out of there. We shall find out. We shall. Paul Cavanagh has been a bit... Uh, he said a gong is, is... Well, imagine something the size of Brian with a beard. What? <laughs> what a gong Cavern. is. Yeah, gongs of beards. So we'll just round this other body section off as well, just while we're here on the rounding off stage, get rid of that process. Make sure everything's nicely tightened up, locked down. Now, you don't have to tighten this up too hard when you're securing your quill, because all you're trying to do is stop it, any little vibration that may be in it. So it just needs kind of, just kind of finger tight there. You don't have to screw it up tight. Just leave it so it's just on and no more. Or you'll damage the quill. Dude's got a question. Do gonks grow on the same trees as agassiz? And which kind of shrubberies <laughs> produce the fur? Haggises uh, don't grow on uh, on trees. Haggises grow in heather. Heather. Because they're Scottish. And gonks originate from uh, um, Denmark. The fur. Because they're also known as, as um, Danish gnomes. There's another word for them. There you go. Paul Connor's gone for dinner. He's bored already. He's gone to get fed. Back in 10 minutes, he said. Chris Bailey with works is in. Oh, no, Chris. Hey, Chris. Steve at SK Crafts is also oh, coming. You. Hey, Steve. <laughs> Evening, Stephanie. Evening, chaps. Evening, chaps. Evening, all listening. Just but did I beat you there, Joe? Did I beat you there? You did beat He's it, with uh, us two or less, just a tiny fraction. Been cleaning his car seats, he says. Good man, Steve. Come clean ours. Yeah, call around here as well when you're done. Yeah. I don't need that. Roof can clean my car seats. Oh, Roof. You said the other, other that. car needs a clean inside. I said, okay, there's the Hoover. Off she went. Cleaned it out. Off she, off she goes. Hoping I have the caliper set correctly. I was just going to say that. <laughs> Looks like it's gone a bit small. I should uh, double check. <laughs> if not, uh, but it's only a tiny wee chuck. Are you like, it's only a tiny wee chuck. Oh, yeah. That's right. So if I just do that. No problem. That. Yeah. What is it? 38 mil tenon, is it? Something like that. Uh, 34, 36, somewhere around that. Mark Pritchard. Mark Pritchard. Any, anywhere around there will do. Right, Hi, so Mark. Just there. Uh, Let's just have this in the chuck. Mark Pritchard says, hi, oh, just a quick chat. Packing up, turning. Got an accident to 406 and other stuff for sale. Anybody wants oh, one? Mark. Talk to Mark Pritchard. <sighs> hmm. Uh-oh. Packing up, turning. That's not another good news. Oh, yeah. Losing another tunnel. Oh my God. Uh, some nah. people do get, you know, fed up with it and yeah, nah. move on to other things. Better put the chuck on first, eh? <laughs> as long as you're doing something else, Mark, not just vegetating from the telly. Oh, this might not work. 
Oh, there's a dreaded key. Yeah, Project Watch key. It's not very good, is it? Truthfully, truth be told. So I just leave the jaws open slightly and push it in with the tailstock so that it seats properly and then just gently tighten that up. Now I'm not squeezing it hard that way, just kind of pushing it up and off as so as it the face is correct. Probably. There we go. Hopefully that should be okay. Now this is going to produce a piece of the gonk, which is the body. And we want, I'll show you the bit of fur we're going to use for this one. Is this one. So it's going to be a quite long piece of fur. So there we go. We'll make the body about there somewhere. Because I need this other, oh, a little bit longer. About there. So we'll put a little pattern line in there just to say that's where we're going. Somewhere about there. Sorry to hear that, Mark. Mark says he's had yes. bad news about his health. So he's packing up and enjoying what time he has left. Oh, ah, sorry, sorry to hear, to hear that, that, Mark. Sorry yeah. to hear that, mate. That's, yeah. yeah. Never good news. You, no. Evening to the professor, by the way. As well, he's in. Good evening, professor. Good evening. So what I want to do, a kind of gonk shape, is kind of rotund at the bottom. And we're just going to have a little, a little um, angle down into here. which allows the fur to sit um, nicer. So there's not much turning involved in this, guys. I'm using a quarter inch uh, bow gouge. Could use a spindle gouge, but I just should just, this came to hand, so I'm using it. Rob so copper rose in. Oh, Rob. And we'll just hey, take Rob. this down a little evening, bit more. Rob. And I'll run it over the end. And then round, and all we want to do is get rid of the step center mark. Let's change cameras there for a minute. Get rid of that. I'm going to switch that extractor on for a minute. There's lots of dust coming off this. Get rid of the step center mark. Now, there's two ways you can display gonks. You can either screw a hook on his head or get him to stand up. So I'm going to get this guy to stand up. And I'm going to change this tool rest now, Terry, to the small one. OK. Mick Juice wants to know, question, rotund, Brian, who are you basing that on? Uh, just a bit like Terry. I, will, I was I thinking of myself, actually. I was uh, thinking yeah. of Joe, but, you know. What? <gasps> Lewis is in. Hey, Lewis. Hello, Lewis. So now what I want to do on here is I want to make this a little bit concave. Two rest far too high. A little bit concave so it actually sits on its foot, but I don't want it to sit way out here. I want it to sit in here, just about there somewhere. So we'll just take that edge and run that in and make it a little bit concave. And that'll be fine. There we go. I'll get rid of the little nub in there. And that's about as much turning as that gets. So we'll give it a quick rub with some Abernet. Yeah, 180 will start. Where is the 180? That's 240. That's 320. I had 180 a second ago. There it is. We'll just give that a quick rub with a Abernet. Do you want to just change the camera, Brian? Back to the overhead. Overhead. So it's almost barrel shaped up. And oh no, it's Andy says Terry will be giving up turning as soon as Joe sees him again. Maybe. No, I won't. she loves me really. I so we've got a little, a little indentation in here, which is um, so just a bit of soft, punky bit. So we'll use that. And we'll, oh, well, it's kind of nice bit to be on the back as well. So I'll maybe try and get rid of that. Let's Got do a something. smaller diameter gunk. Let's do something dangerous. Scoot chisel. Oh, oh. Scoot chisel. <sighs> Let's try. Scoot. Just taking the scoot chisel. Give me Donna. 
just over to there. See what happens. See what happens. What's the worst can happen? And you can get a catch and make yeah. a bigger dent. But don't think yeah. about that. Not thinking about it, Terry. No. Do they it might have purpose. used up all the catches It'll... in that skew, I think. Do it, with, do it with purpose. It'll be fine. So have a look. See, did that cure that or did it not? Still got a bit of a bump there. I can feel it. To really spot, you can just tear See, out as well. It does, all right. It's just, it's just not. We'll try yeah. one more cup. <laughs> so, rub the bevel, lift the handle, pick up the cup. But cutting on the bottom third of the skew. You can see yeah, that that's right in there. It's not really, yeah. it's not really it's a sharper wood. skew. It's actually quite sharp, Terry. It's just the fact it? that it's, it's a bit spotty there. It's just kind of bouncing off it. Yeah, it's a soft green in it, I think. It is, right? Maybe it's just sanded really it out, mate. Well, sand well, put the beard on that side. You won't see it then, will you? That's exactly right. But I wanted to keep that on the back. It would be, that's not really all that pretty. That's a whole lot prettier for the back. Yeah. But we'll see. Give yeah, some of the white like part that. in the spalted beach has the consistency of bread. Sometimes, yeah. Yeah. So that's not too bad. It doesn't look too bad. No, that's good. We'll give it a quick rub there. I do actually want to round it off a little bit more. But I'm not that brave, so we'll go back to this spindle gauge. Just round it off a little bit more. I think that's better now. I'll do. That's uh Always advisable to remove your tool rest before you start the sand, by the way. Twisted Pete's in. Hello, Pete. Hi, Pete. Hi, hey, Pete. Pete. I thought Pete was away. And Graham Hayes. He said, good morning. In. Just popping in hey, to Graham. see Brian deserves a thumbs up. Good man. Thanks, Pete. Good evening, Graham. Robert Graham Hayne is also in. in. Appreciate it. Hello, Brian. Good evening, Robert. Good evening, Robert. Good evening, Robert. I'd already said Graham. I got Did you? I didn't hear you. Yeah, there you go. up to 400 on this job. You can say no, loud enough. 180 and 240 will be fine. I'll see Jennifer's happily dismissing messages again accidentally, probably. Yes, I've noticed. <laughs> Jennifer, what's, what's Jennifer doing? Uh, oh, she just took, Doug said hello to uh, Rob Cobber. I said, hello, Cobber. Next right. minute, Jennifer just deleted it. <laughs> <laughs> she's, oh. she's done it again. Good job she don't block people as well then. <laughs> Oh, she Bacon does, soda is in. Ah, that's Bacon soda. Good evening. That's that's Brendan from my local club. Hello, uh, hello, hello Brenda. Brendan uh, has a, a YouTube channel as well, guys. Don't uh, you leave, yeah. Jennifer? Yeah, she has two. Don't you leave. Just... You stay where you are, Mrs. I saw Brendan recently. Did you? Yep. yep. He has two channels, if some of you could find them and stick them in there. Oh, is he? Good. Right, okay. I've forgotten the name of the second channel, Brendan. Stick it in there for me. Brendan, wait. stick it in. Stick in the name of the channel. And I'll try and find it. And, or William he's Will, and stick like it on. Like Mike Woodturning or something. something like that. Peter, the park woodturner is in. Good evening. Hey, Peter. A little bit of sanding sealer on that. And then my next favourite bit. Don't you go anywhere, Jennifer? Was any accident? Yeah, no need to go anywhere. Jennifer, stay here. You, you dare Enjoy go anywhere. Watching... And I'll, I'll, I'll be coming over there shortly. Yeah. Just you stay with your missus. Enjoy watching. Peter, the park return is in. I love Peter. Oh, oh, I've said that. Much. No, you didn't. Yeah, I did. What? No, you didn't. No, no, yeah, children. Let's not fight over it. Yeah, I did. <laughs> well, I'm going to be judicating her here. She did say it, Terry. <laughs> you must have been talking over me then. Oh, get well, you were probably talking over Joe, would be more like it. Hands up, your pity can be. I know you're not true. Oh, 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 like <laughs> Yorkshire Gritty. Oh, it's a rat bag, so it is. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Have you got another holiday coming up? <laughs> we know you're not trolling for uh, Brendan, you're not trolling for subs, but it is nice now and again to put new people's channels in so that they can. Yeah, so as other people can find oh, you, Brendan, that's why yeah, we're doing yeah. it. So yeah. uh, Steve, Steve is you. after Steve has put it in. Steve's there. done it well, and Steve. Ah, yeah. Good line, Steve. Good man. 
I know you're not trolling for subs, mate. You don't need them. You've got loads. Mick Tews, Heller and EA. Waitley comes into my channel again. Hey, Stephen, the would do. We need some new earworms, <laughs> folks. <gasps> okay. Well, I think well, the cheek. Yeah, I think, yeah. Generally, yeah, um, I think um, Joe's probably... Send Stephen the link there. welcome. Get him in here. Yeah, get him Will in. Will you put it in my <laughs> direction? Brett? I'll send him the link. I'll send him the link. Is all right. Stephen the Wood is right? welcome to join us if he wants. Is that all right, Brian? If I send Stephen yeah, yeah, the link you, say, you send him the link now, buddy, and uh, Vinnie, let's get him in here. Vinny Charlton. We, we can nicely abuse him. Hey, Vinny. He's joined us. We need an adjudicator, hey, Steve. No, we don't. William sloping shoulders. He's not siding with me. <laughs> He's siding with me, the important person. So we just give that a little buff up. Get used to it. Did you say Vince Charlton, Vinny? I did. Yes. Yes, well, yes she did. Okay. Are you listening? She said it twice, Dad. <laughs> you need to crank up that here a bit. <laughs> do, you, do you think I might be winding you up, <laughs> Joe? <laughs> Oh. I don't want to. Shut up. That you is shut up, Robert. <laughs> that is working. What's working? Right, Robert says, uh, Yeah, please, Terry, go ahead. Let me take your place. <laughs> I don't mind. Too hot here, anyway. What the? In front of this screen. I've got shut on Donna. Uh, right, where's my. Uh, D Donna said that she's found out why she has issues with masks. Why is that Donna? Yeah, enlighten. <laughs> Stephen says, what's the hourly rate for ear warming? Yeah, it's <laughs> the same as you got last time <laughs> when you came in. You ear wormed for somebody. I can't remember who it was. And I don't think it was Brian then, wasn't it? No, maybe not. I, don't, I can't it remember. Was time one? Nope. I did oh, a lunchtime one. I did ear Stephen ear wormed for somebody. It's all right. get the same as then. He just did leave because I was ear worm as well at the time. Man, just leave him out there. I need to open Lucy. my bin. Lucy's saying, do we need a referee for the earworms thing? No. No, we don't. I already said think. that, Joe. I already Should said we... that, Joe. Goes, Did you? No, you said, you said adjudicator. Let's not be pedantic. Uh -huh. Ah. <laughs> right. It's been hairs now. It's or William Roberts. and oh, yeah. I versus you, Terry. <clears throat> not yet. Stephanie will be in in a minute. And I'm five just, minutes, I'm just, he said. I'm just turning He'll be in, in five background. minutes. Just ignore me. I'm turning in the background. Sorry. Well, you're doing oh, a very yeah. good job that's as well, That's the important Brian. thing, isn't it? Right. So, yeah. next, just next to then, is to part this off, because that's the body for I'll go quiet now, then. Yeah, I, did say this was a, I did say this was an easy beginner's turn. I'll give Robert <laughs> his... What are you uh, doing, Brian? I, I'm going to part this off now. Yeah, he's turned so, it as far as he needs to. Give, give myself a relief cut there. And then, go there. Can I just ask a question? <laughs> no. Yeah, of course you can, Joe. Yeah, Shoot, Joe. well, you know, you, uh, you, you're going to put a nose on it, aren't you? Yes, Joe. Mm -hmm. Is it not worth putting the hole in while it's mounted on the truck? Ah, well, I'll have to make the hat first. Okay. I just could do I'd ask the question. You could do it. They're not going to stop me doing that. Okay. So what I was here just thinking is the... everyone does a, a does a, a drill hole afterwards, and I just thought, you know, to keep it steady, would it help? No, it's a good question, Joe. Good question. Good point. That's a good question. Now, what I want to do here is leave myself a 5 mil cannon to mount the head on. Be careful. They want a piece of spouted wood. I They'll know. That's off. exactly what I'm doing, Terry. Uh, so I've got my very nears. My very nears. It's very nearly yeah, very near. Very near me calipers. Yeah, very very near me. And see is that anywhere close? That's a little bit more. Tiny little bit more. This is when it flies off, of course. That'd be fine. So we'll just use the uh, end the very tip of the um beating important tool as a there we go. Perfect. So now we'll take the little tiny saw, saw and saw that off so as we, had, we do have a bit left. Roy's the boys, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, oh, Roy. Hey, Roy. So we're left with that, and it doesn't really matter that that's, that's not perfectly sandy or anything. It doesn't matter. You're never going to see it again. Once the lid goes on, you'll never see it again. 
So now we need to make, uh, I'll put that to one side, and we need to make uh, the helmet. Uh, the helmet. What's so like in his helmet, isn't it? Yeah, I'm not so sure that's what we're going to do, though. What we're picking up for it? It's a bit punky. Have you anything else a... to hand? Hmm. Sure, I have, you know. Let me just have a look. Uh, let me just untick that out there. It's definitely. You had the other bit for the hat, didn't you? It's definitely, uh, well. Yeah, but it's it's spotly beach as well, Terry. I'm, and I'm a bit worried about that, too. That is that is so punky, guy. It's just uh, as you said, it's just like. It. Good. It's just like bread. Throw that in a bit. That's a shame. Let's, uh, let's, let's, uh, let me just put this between centers for a moment. And a, a GK Redbrooks is in. Hello, Andy. Andy. We'll just have to uh, uh, change our plan as we go here. We'll take this chuck off for a minute. No, I don't think that's good. No, I won't. No. Take that chuck off for a moment. Put this chuck on. And we'll pop that in there. Screw that up. What's that wood, Brian? Uh, oh, uh, sycamore? Spotted. Bit of spotted sycamore, I thought, yeah. Sycamore, I think there's a little bit of spotting in the bottom end. Yeah. But we might just get rid of that, I think. Part, just part a piece off that you want. And... Yeah, I'm just going to leave a bit in the end. I'm just going to yeah. part a piece off here. Part it off about here somewhere. So we'll just uh, quickly part it off. Leave myself plenty of room. Over because, there. because uh, yeah, so I want to, what I need is a shield. And then a hat somewhere. Well, we'll go from the shield up to the hat somewhere like that. Uh, so we'll come to there and we'll part it off there and just see what happens. Uh, Something Douglas like that. Has joined us. Hello, Malcolm. So sorry he's late because he's been with the grandkids. That's the, that's a perfect no excuse. problem there. Perfect that's excuse. excuse huh? Yep. Enjoy the grandkids. That's what it's all about. Question from Stephen. Good dude. What kind of bread are you eating? Not good German black bread, obviously. Bread? Yeah. What is he raving about? Don't know. He's, Not a clue. I think he's on a cooking channel somewhere. He's on a cooking channel. <laughs> in the wrong channel. <laughs> he's in the wrong chat, I think. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll take that off now. Get rid of the tailstock a little bit. And... Uh, Part that off. Donna says, sorry, my mum my mum phoned me just as I said that. <laughs> oh, it was about the mask and she didn't she didn't yeah. answer. Oh yeah. You know, over so, there. Uh, Doug has asked. <laughs> and now we need a we're going to use a four a five mile drill bit. Uh -huh. Punky wood is bread, he meant. Grandma root tubes in. Look out there. Hello, Ruth. Stand by your beds. Wrong way, always the wrong way. Why is that always fully open when you want it closed? Yeah, that does mean, of course, she's off the phone. Oh, come on. Oh, Donna is saying she's been diagnosed with peripheral neuropathy and her oh. nervous system is knackered. <laughs> knackered? Oh, that's not good. So we're just going to drill in here, just a, just a few now. That, Donna. Oh, no, we're not. What am I doing? That's, that's not what I should be doing at all. Oh, being an idiot there. Just leave that ch in that chuck for a minute. What we have Robert, to do is turn our hat. That's the very first thing we need to do. That's what you're going to do, weren't you? Yeah. Robert Browett says, love, love the grandchildren, but can only eat a whole one. Uh, you can only eat one at a time. Is that it? That's uh -huh. it. They're better on a spit. Couldn't eat a whole one. Hey, it's a good time for barbecuing. Brian had a barbecue tonight, didn't he, Brian? I did indeed, sir. Lovely it was, too. Shell cooked Chicken it. on a spit, was it? Chicken on a stick. What do you call them things? Oh, chicken kebab. Chicken skewer. Chicken kebabs. Chicken yeah, skewers. skewers. I couldn't remember that for the life of me earlier. Wait, me turn that Robert says... You should put a label on that, Brian, to know which way it tightens. He's talking about the Jacob's Chuck, I think. No, I know. I should, really. So Viking helmets are kind of dome-shaped, are they not? Which I think yes. they are. I think they are. So I'm know. just going to leave that there. 
if if anything, they just go slightly to a point, don't they? Uh, from I've never seen one. Yeah, they go up. They go up yeah, so, like a like a like a shape of a bullet type of thing. Or you know, the top yeah, of a spaceship. So I might just do that first, okay? So. And then I just take a little bit like that and take that in because there's usually a little bit on the top of them, a little knob and a, a little in the top. Figs out yeah. the size I want, which is about there probably. That'll do. And we'll do a little bit of a parting tool job in there, just about here somewhere. Take that down a little bit. Give yourself room, Brian. I think the shape of it, the curve, is too too much of a curve, Brian. It, 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 is, it is for now, Terry. But just Only give me a second. Slightly, yeah. Okay. So what I want now is I want I'll use that. I'll use this little skew. What I want now is a rim. So there's a rim there. So we have this little rim, and then we'll put another line about here somewhere. Just go take that on in, and that's going to be the top. And we'll have a little. Right, Steve's backstage. So he is. There he is. He's not now. Here he is. Oh, mate. Hello, yeah, Steve. I got some support now. I'll we'll use the two bloody things here. <laughs> Hello, Steve. Hello, guys. Welcome, Mr. Steve right. from the SK Craft. Are they picking on you? in. Hello, nice. Benjamin. Thanks for coming to support me, Steve. He's just, he's just waiting, Steve. It's just they begin, yourself, you know? So I just want to go in a little bit here, and what I want to do is make this steeper now, up to that where I've just come from. So there, in a little bit, and then just round this off. Nice finishing cut, if I can manage it. Nice slow cut. Make sure I'm rubbing the bevel. Not overly so. Take that all the way in, and that should bring me right up to that little bit that I've just made. Pip. Just right there. Lovely job. That makes Very sense. Back, and we'll just give that a quick rub with uh, our bits of Abernet again. James Crawford's in. Turn the speed down a little bit, because Abernet melts if you spin it too fast. Don't ask yeah. me how I know that. <laughs> <laughs> it's just speaking from experience. Uh, James uh, Crawford is in. The oh, James. Of that is yes. The wood dude's got a true story. He once had a Swedish girlfriend who had a Viking helmet and she wore it in bed. True story, Interesting. Says. Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> yes, right. It is a gun. Left this extractor on because it's fucking the hot air out. There is some heat in this workshop, boys. It's 22.4 degrees now. Oh, it's gone up another uh, degree. Barry's and Wood I, Creations have just joined us. Hello, Barry. Evening, Barry. Barry. I'm from I'm from Northern Ireland, guys. This is this is roasting. Right. So now that's that. Next thing I want to do now is texture that a little bit. So what we'll do is we're going to texture this band, and we'll use a little. Uh, what do you call it? This thing. And I'm just going to use it upright just to put little lines in it. So let me get that in there. Turn this down to about 500 revolution ones. That's close. Just before I forget, it says Paul, Paul Findlay saying, don't forget, Brian, to give William the wood he gave you. Don't forget to give William. Yeah, the wood uh, that don't he... forget. Um, right, okay. Yeah, we're well, meeting up on the ground today. Brian from Green Heaven yeah. Creations is in. Brian. Hey, Brian. And thanks for the wood, Paul. Very generous of you. So that just puts a few little dashies in there. Because William hasn't got enough wood, has he? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, he, he needs to, he needs to collect as much as he can before he reaches. Just a little more. So can you guys, can you guys picture the Viking bull in your head? Yeah. Yeah. It has lots of texture on it, doesn't it? Now, when I watched um, uh, Colin doing this uh, demo, he used a fancy set of punches. He did. 
Hmm. Don't tell me you bought them. No, nope. I didn't. A lot of people use liver punches, don't they? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. A lot of people do. But I'm going to use uh, things that have in the workshop. Paul Cameron says, he, ooh, I'm going to borrow that tool sometime, Brian. I have one of those. I have a nail Hi. with a with a, a square profile. Throw it in there. I have another star screwdriver. I had another little screwdriver, which has got a star on it as well. And the other little thing I have is a ball. Where is it? There it is. A tiny little uh, punch with a ball end. So I'm just going to do this. And put um, a ring is your gun going to have horns coming out of his helmet? He, he certainly is. You wouldn't expect anything else from Brian, would you? No, I, was, I just thought I'd ask. So I'm not too, I'm not being too fussy about this. It doesn't really matter if it's perfect. It's it's a war helmet, so it's maybe had a bit of abuse. <clears throat> maybe been hit by the odd sword or axe. Yeah. This, this wood is very soft. The little ball thing is just disappearing in there. Roy's done a yeah. couple of Viking gonks before Christmas. Good, Good man, right. Roy. I love the accessories to these gonks. Well, it's you, you're only limited by your own imagination, really. Uh, have a look at it's all Tina's fault on Facebook. Mm -hmm. It is, yeah. Paul Cavanagh is saying there's there's something on at the carpentry store in Dublin, and he's hoping that Brian will take him on a hot date to it. <laughs> <laughs> I am indeed, Paul. You uh, get get yourself down here for about twelve o'clock on Wednesday, and we'll head down the road. Drag Richard with you. And if Richard wants to come, my house twelve o'clock, and we're we're heading to Dublin. There's a there's a demo by uh, who's doing the demo? Is it Joe Laird? I can't remember, uh, Brian. I can't there's somebody. Remember. I think I've uh, I think I've just made a mess of that. But I was close enough. There's demos. So There'll be demos all day from different people. So the next thing is this little screwdriver just to put a little kind of stars in, like. So you don't need to go and buy expensive stuff. You can texture with whatever's in your workshop. Okay. I'm leaving this back because that's where the horns are going. Benjamin says, can you pick him up too, Brian? He lives in Suffolk. Come on, Ben. Always the hoper, Ben. Always the hoper. That's a hell of a detour. Brian, those little um, ball-ended things you have, do they do them in different sizes? Yes, Matt. Comes in a kit. Yeah, I knew you would have, look. There's a whole, whole size of them. That's 10 mil all the way down to that one, which is, I think, about one mil. Well, that's not it. That's a nail. <laughs> Just gapping. It's about Two one mil, mil. One mil. Yeah, right and, and you, get a, you get a little thing as well for making. I don't know what that's for. Is that for jewellery making? Yeah, that, yeah, it is. I think so. Yeah, yeah. It is. It's exactly what Hi, it is. Roof. How are you? I'm saying, surprised I'm saying, you that yeah, we've got, got one got, in a box. Yeah, I got them, in, <laughs> I got them from Amazon. So I'll send you a link if you want something, Steve. Hmm. Interesting, isn't they? Something different. Yep, just a little bit. So what you can do with them, uh, if you're if you're really clever, you do a bowl, leave a nice rim on it. Now it needs to be some kind of wood that will accept being crushed and then bring itself back again. Um, so you make your bowl, and then you do use their little dipples all the way around, and then you take a, a, a fine cut off it just till you get to the bottom of the dimple. And then steam the piece of wood, and the the, the little bubbles will come back up again. Mm. So you'll have little raised bits instead of holes. Sounds a bit. It's, uh, it's a clever technique, but it's a bit complicated. That's how we get mm. dinter gun stocks. Interesting process. Mm -hmm. Yeah, worth a try. It's better than having three thousand chucking points to turn each little dimple. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> So there you go, that's another row of them. And these little star ones, um, uh, don't really, I'll just put them in here. Just put, put four. Many of them. Six. Uh, 
We'll just guess. Don't really Roy says, are you going to do that, Brian? I'll take it he means the dimples. And... Uh, not not tonight, no. No, on this piece of wood spotted. Oh, no, you need you need a kind of half decent piece Hard of wood piece. for that. I think beach might be a good wood for it. Mm -hmm. That'll do. There you go. So you can see now we've got a bit of decoration there. Now, Joe mentioned horns. Horns, Joe. Oh, look, look at that. At them. You so, already got them off you, Joe. Uh, but I'm not putting them on yet. <gasps> <laughs> I'm fighting, oh, aren't you? She I'm knew that. Me. She knew that already. She, she knew that was coming. So I'm just going to put the I'm going to put the holes in for the horns. So I'm just going to drill a five mil hole because these are five mil at the bottom, ish. But what I need to try Market and do is market turning crafts is in. Get it, get it, get it almost hey, up to each other. We we'll just draw a little hole in there. That'll do. Well, that's probably too much. And we're going to there and about there somewhere, I think. Yeah, don't buy a eye. Yeah, close enough. Well, we could, we could go up a wee tiny bit there. Just about there. We'll just do it by eye. Hope for the best. See what happens. Next thing I want to do is make this black. So I have my airbrush prepared. Hopefully it's going to work. Oh, yes, there we go. Looks like you've even, looks like you've even uh, prepared for this live, Brian, instead of just the usual thing. Yeah, it's Come just straight not, on and don't know what you're going to do. Oh, it looks... And paint your lathe black, by the way. Ah, no matter. It comes off. It's only intrinsic colours. <laughs> so it comes off. And the reason I'm painting this black is because I want to highlight all that um, texture. There we go. You could have used... That is um, black. You could have used um, anything at all. Anything that will make it black. One more. Anything at all. Jason Leverin's in. Hello, Jason. Oh, so if you use the, if you use the nail, you get a nice little sort of square hole yes. as well. So you can just you know, yeah. use your imagination, guys. Don't be don't be saying, "Oh, I need a new tool." Just go for it. Smack an Allen key in it, get us excited one. You could, yep, absolutely. We tiny Allen key and just go for it. Right, so we'll just have to wait for that to dry now, guys. It's my tail, huh? <laughs> Jason Leverin says, hi, boys. Oh, boy, it's, uh, it was yeah, sure a lot quieter last week on Brian's Live. What changed? Joe's Derry's in. back. Derry's back. <laughs> Poor old Joe. <laughs> <laughs> Poor old Joe. Stack Joe him and rack him. So we'll just put a bit of heat on this. Lewis says, Lewis says spin dry. Spin dry. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> We're just paint the walls. Yeah, I'm buzzing been... up there, 2,000 uh, RPM. It's strange Didn't enough, it. I have this line that goes up through the wall and up through the roof there. I don't know where it came from. Down the middle of your face. <laughs> yeah, right <laughs> down the front of your shirt and everything. It's brilliant. It's fabulous thing. Yeah, Mick says Steve would have burned the crap out of that to get a black. <laughs> That's Not all the time. Not all the time, Mick. <laughs> well, maybe you should have done that. Made me sound like an animal. <laughs> Probably remain here. So it's not quite so black now. It's kind of going to uh, a, a little bit of a lighty grey colour, but it's not matter. It's getting uh, it's getting something over the top of it now in a minute. But I need to make that that line just a little bit more pronounced. Well, the helmets aren't all one colour anyway, are they? Really, they're you know if if so, we're they? if they're legit, jet, they'll be. When you said about being battered and stuff like that, yeah, yeah. it just shows it's... Well, you see, if you wanted to make it look like it's been hit by an axe or something, all you have to do is this look. There you go. That was a big axe <laughs> mark in it now, Luke. <laughs> oh, 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 no. That was a sword, that one. It hides, it <laughs> hides <laughs> the catches as well. <laughs> and, She's delivered the stew. Oh, look, there's a little bit of tear out there. I'll just get it now. <laughs> so you can easily do that. But what I'm going to use now is some Joe Sonia's uh, silver. But I need a glove. Where are my gloves? A nice new box of 200 gloves. <laughs> I'm going to use embellishing wax. Ish. It's not embellishing wax. It's actually Joe Sonia's silver um, uh, matte fluid acrylic. Metallic. You need to uh, seal that first one. Oh, dear. I do. You're right. You're right. So you, well, I knew you'd get you in for some reason, Steve. Well, well spotted, Steve. Well spotted. <laughs> Ben Jam has asked your question, Steve. It's acrylic paint, yeah. so I'm going to use acrylic sanding skill. 
Uh, yes, Ben, you can come. Yeah, That's, uh, your first two visits will be free anyway, so you can come as a non-member and watch the demo. Early start though, you need to be there for seven. Well, demo starts at seven o'clock. So just to give us a quick spray with uh, acrylic sanding sealer from Chestnut Products. Soaking in well. It is and a half. Grandma sure. Reese says, question, does most people wear gloves when colouring? Uh, yeah, apart from Terry, he doesn't bother. Well, Especially intrinsic. Me, me either, because I don't do colour. <laughs> right, that should be enough. Days, I don't wear gloves, unfortunately. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to take all night to do that. La, la, la. Oh, More as long I forget oh, to wear gloves. Mixing pot. Perfect. Just give that a wee second or two to flash it off. We can spin that though. That's not coming off. A blow on. No point you backing her up, Richard. No. I nearly, I nearly threw the base of the gonk in the bin then. Just while I'm waiting for that to dry, I'll just check. Does the beard long enough? Yeah, it's perfect. Oh, you've got 87 people watching. Oh, my goodness. Thank you very much, people, for coming in and watching. I uh, really do appreciate everybody. Love it. Don't lose your horn spray. I nearly lost them already once today. <laughs> oh, dear. And I'll explain how to make the horns after a while. But not just in a minute. It's just kind of watery, this stuff. Oh, this needn't be watery. It doesn't need to be watery. Shake it. Oh, that is a bit watery. Put the lid back on and squeeze it. Up and back, up and back, yeah. you get it mixed. In the... Surely it can't be that water. Keep squeezing it until you get it mixed. It's probably... Mine was the same before the first time. Squeeze the tubes. That's it. So it mixes. Brian El Tanero, De Madeira, is it? Let's squeeze some of the air out of it, Terry. Hiya, Brian. Welcome along, mate. Good evening, Brian. Right, that's that is very oh, watery. Say his, I don't use that. say his full title, Joe. Go on. Brian El Tanero, De Madeira. She practices. Wouldn't should have used uh, silver goat cream instead? Silver goat cream, yeah, that would go in. Haven't you got a silver acrylic paint? I thought you had the silver acrylic paint. Silver acrylic paint, I do. But I thought this stuff would have been better. This is the. But if you're going to dry brush it, that'll be all right, water anyway, won't it? It should be, aye. Well, dry brush. I was going to use, just use my finger and see how that worked. Let's just try this. Oh, look at this. Okay. I just kind of. Kevin and I care creation. There you go. Nothing wrong with that. Okay, oh, Kev. That is right. Nothing wrong with that. Even to so the we'll just marks. We'll just build up slowly. Yeah. A little bit. Fill the holes with it. No, definitely not. Oh. Oh, that, that actually works quite nice. Works very nice. Oh, I tell you what, I've got the gold in this as well. I might try some of that too. Well, that's not a Viking helmet gold, really, is it? <laughs> well, it could be brass. Be, you want a patina look, don't you? That's what you look like. It could be brass, could it not? Would not have used brass? No, they use silver. That pewter used to be the tin. Well, no pewter idea. Tin. Well, Peter's no, got a tin anyway. No it's idea. Need, need, need to ask Wayne. He was about that. Tin and lead. <laughs> Poor Wayne. <laughs> yeah, he was there at the time. He was a gatekeeper at Linda's farm. <laughs> Been to Linda's farm. It's lovely up there. Right, so that's kind of getting silvery, is it? I don't know. What does that, what does that look like from you guys? Perfect. It's, it's cool. lovely for us. Yeah. Super it's very good. Just careful, you're starting to fill in your texture inside. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm trying not to, but it will go into some of that, I'm sure. Yeah. Great big blow. There we go. That's better. So the more you put on, the more silver it gets, obviously. Mm. The more you can one. fill your texture. Well, I'm not. I have to be careful there. But you know what I'm like with. Yeah. Follow <laughs> it. Yeah. That's why I do it. You start to can't stop. 
gets carried away. I'm stopping, that's it, I'm stopping. That's it, start again. Start again. Now, next. Do I need to seal that? No, I don't think I do. Yeah. I wonder how long it takes to dry. Um, Very know. quick. Is it? It's pretty, I think yeah. it's pretty quick, yeah. What the hell? Is that? Oh, it's over here. I could have used a bit of Joe Sonia's as a decent, couldn't I? That would have been nice too. No, leave it at that. Leave it at that. Yeah, it's pretty much dry already. Well, mm. do. It's not perfect, but then. As is it. Real simple the, things, hello, Baz. Is a helmet going to be perfect? Hey, Baz. I wouldn't have so. You missed uh, the burning, Baz. So we'll put. Oh. Baz. Next, but it looks like R2D2. <laughs> it does. Yeah, it does, he said. Just that's, his next, yeah. that's his next one. You can do an RTD2 gonk. Oh, don't start. Instead of a Viking. More speed. So this just needs fired off now. No, I want to see the horns. A little bit undercut. Uh, you'll see them at the end. Because I, I, another thing to make, uh, one more thing to make. And as you guys know, I don't really like parting things off all the way with a with a chisel. I can use my little saw, uh, but I've lost it now. Ruth, Ruth says, anyone else mega hot? It's 24 degrees and it's gone eight o'clock. Yes, yeah, same here, Ruth. In this room, it's 28 degrees as well. It's 22.6 now in my workshop, so it's went up another 0.2 of a degree. Dewey, Just give me 23 here. Good evening, Dewey. So there's the, there's, the little, there's the little there we, there we That's lovely. That'll go on the top. And the only thing I need to do now is put a little hole in it. Hole in it. Oh, I hope it's, oh, it's big enough. It's, well, it's only just big enough. Jinx. So I need a little Turn the body down. I can now, can you? No, I can't. It's all right. It's fine. It'll be grand. So I need my five mil, five mil drill bit and just drill a little hole in the middle there. Just about there from my... Just enough to let my little tenon in. A little bit deeper than that. There you go. Oh, sorry. Uh, let me just uh, move my tools out of the way for a minute. And we'll go with... If we have a hashtag gonk week, it can't be one you've turned already. You've got to turn another one. you got to make another one, yep. Yeah, you got to do another one. So here we go. Here's all the bits now. There's his beard. Now, you notice I've cut the beard in a triangle. Don't, don't, no comments, Terry. I'm not saying anything. <laughs> just, just don't. It's the wrong way up anyway for that. Oh, there you go. There you go. <laughs> Better. Pose and pouch. Oh, what are you like, Terry? I was thinking of the yeah. reef. <laughs> Let me just check this bit. Be fine. Oh, it's not bad. Well, There's an Alsatian running around minus an ear. <laughs> <laughs> uh, where is that? Uh, where is that little saw? There it is. Yeah, Paul Cameron is hot. I've not sweated so much since my wife got the credit card bill first. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. Let me just see now. So that has to go in there. Oh no, I've something else to turn yet. Yeah, you still got the old what's name in you? The Jobbins. I forgot. Mm, I what's forgot. name Jobbins? I forgot. One more thing to turn quickly. Are you going to turn a shield? Yep. Right here, right now. Okay. Just right here. What about his sword? He's not getting a sword because I have to make a hand and everything for a sword. It's going to get an axe. What about his nose? Snout. you got to make that. I, I can't have to come to that yet, too. But I can do that in a minute. Uh, Don't you think this is American? American? What's American? Whatever American is. Was he talking about the the fluffy bit you showed us before? Or no. I don't know. Try and get a decent cut in there. Oh, 
but it's not very good about timber again. It's not very good about timber. But that, should be, that should be better. Yeah, I'll just make that into a kind of shield shape. The public wig is American. So Andy says. So in there, and then in a little bit, and then back out again, and in a little bit, into the boss in the middle, like that. You're going to colour that one silver as well, or different colours? Well, just to use a little spindle, guys, just to round that boss over. And if you're being really adventurous, you could put... I'll use my screw for that. If you're being really adventurous, you could turn this into a Viking bow, couldn't you? You could. That's what I thought. Viking shield. All the colours. Just in there. And then we'll put two lines over here. I don't know why I cool, forgot that. Andy's just corrected his typo. <laughs> <laughs> I see that. <laughs> Victorian invention. <laughs> we could do the same thing and do a bit of texture and stuff on there. Will we? Aye, why not? Why don't you do the... Um... <laughs> Wouldn't go do it, Ron. You didn't. <laughs> you got to do all the same as you got to have a look at the silver just like the hat. Yeah, I'll just leave hey, the silver. Well. Right. I think I'll just leave it the way it is. It'll take too long. It's half it. We've got plenty just, of time. We'll just let that dry again. And we'll try some other. We'll try the silver gilt on this and see if it make a better job. Sandy seal as well. Yeah, I'm just drying this off, Terry. Did you notice a heat gun you use it? You can tell it's a heat gun. It's got a big, big sign on the side of it. It says, seek on, <laughs> seek one, heat gun. Seek one, it says heat, heat gun. Turn it over. It says the other heat side, Brian. Heat, heat gun. gun. <laughs> That's when you do videos, you don't have to say anything. Just put the gun there and people will read it. The gun there. Just, it's a big guy. Uh... Now, again, uh, because it's a shield, you may want to give it a little bit of uh, distressing. Battery. Uh, where is that little tool? We just uh, <laughs> he's, he's gonna beat the crap over. <laughs> and then, there's an arrow. He took a nice little. Oh, he took a nice little. There you go. He took a he took a, lo a lovely peeling cut. What's the name? Sheer cut with a <laughs> with a skew, enough, and then went and bashed it all up. <laughs> uh, that's funny though. A little bit of acrylic on this tool again. Oh, I should have done black down the sides. I'll cheat. I'll cheat. Use a pen. Black pen. pen. Sharpie. Black, black marker, yeah. Sharpie. Oh, Brian. Slow it down. Calm Just melt down. the end of your Sharpie, you muppet. Is this Sharpie not working? No, Mick, it doesn't count as a catch. Sharpie wasn't working at high speed. It must be a slow speed Sharpie. <laughs> yeah. Meant for writing. It's only for writing. Huh? What's that about? If you write too quick, it won't work. Yeah, some people say I talk too quick. No, that's, that's working. Not, that's not a problem. I don't. I don't talk too quick. <laughs> you listen too slowly. working we're getting there Could another half an hour it'll be dry and we'll be fine we'll be grand i should have measured this to make sure it wasn't too big nah. i think brian realizes graham he has got paint on his chuck he's not Where? Where? any water paste that was water paste water. <laughs> what steve said 
<laughs> yeah, it'll come off. <laughs> yeah, what Steve said. <laughs> Sandy, seal that again quickly. There we go. Put that away. Don't need that now. So obviously, if I was making these to sell or something, I'd take much more time over it and be it. It would be a whole lot more um, precise. And not be just, the uh, beat lumps over. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think it would beat lumps over. Yeah, I think it would. Yeah, be. I think it lumps make a character, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, some people spend a lot of time making gonks, don't they? Yeah, they do. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If you look Mine'd at that, it's all Tina's fault. Um, Facebook page. Some of them are absolutely. Oh, she got some beautiful ones. Unbelievable. The accessories are amazing. Now, a whole lot of people have made these. If you look on YouTube, there are hundreds of people making gonks. But it started originally, well, not originally, but uh, recently with uh, Rebecca de Groot. And then Emma got involved. And there's another lady whose name escapes me. Tina. It may, it may, be, a, it may be the girl who runs that Tina's website thing. I can't remember her problem name. Tina Johnson, Tina's I think. Tina Johnson, that's the, I think that's her yeah. name, yeah. So I think they're they're responsible for the surgeons of the gonks. Well, I've just got fish all over that. I made a gonk it. once. So I'm going to try this chestnut uh, <laughs> silver gill cream. That'll do it. If it's not melted in its tub. Oh, it hasn't been used very much. Oh, I need another glove. So Paul's asking a question. Yes. Wait, can I call the chips and tool marks in all my stuff features? Yes. <laughs> you can. For sure. For sure. I'll go do a Steve. Yes, that's what Steve does. He uses the back of his, his, his glove. And we'll just rub that on. Try and kind of dry brush that in. Are you on the right camera? Yeah. Yep. yep. So this can be pretty distressed, doesn't really matter. Just get that over up there. Got a black on it won't make any difference. Get in there a wee bit. It's quite effective, that looks battle worn. <clears throat> yeah. yeah, it looks good. So it has a little bit of No, that'll do. That's enough of that. But what I want to do is uh, go a little bit further. Battle scars, as Bob says. And I'm just going to grab a, a... Oh, I thought I had one. I didn't, don't have one. Right, let's try something else. Let's think about this. Tiny as tiny as tiny as brushes. Green Evan Creations got to go, he says. All right. See that, Hi, Brian. Um, take right. Right. take it easy, buddy. So we're just going to use a little bit of this. Guys to have the red. So it may not work. Just I a little bit of red. I was going to put the red on for blood. <laughs> oh, I could do that, a couple of dribbles. But that's just a little bit of red, just a little bit of highlight in the middle there. That's just a little bit of Indian ink. It's another brush wasted. <laughs> Roof's got it in for you tonight, Terry. I can see that. And I'm reading need, that out. Need a drink of water, boys. <laughs> of course, gonks are gonks are uh, Kelly's ancestors. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't that the truth, Ruth? They originate from Scandinavia and mix and and a mix of a gnome and a hobgoblin. Brackets. <laughs> Hobbit. Hobbit. <laughs> Hobbit. <laughs> Who's giving us that information? You mean like get out of this room, woman? Ruth. <laughs> Ruth's giving us that information. She must, she must be doing some research on the old interweb then, is she? Um, Beating and part tool again to uh, part this off. I'm going to part off a bit there somewhere. Little red camera so we can see it fly. <laughs> okay, camera. Full of faith. 
So we'll undercut it a little bit there. Right. Again, if I was selling this, the inside would be painted black too, so it looks okay. But I'm um, getting kind of pushed for time here, so. No, you ain't plenty of time, Brian. Right. Again, I want to leave a little five mil um, cannon on here. Roger Kent's in. Hello, Roger. Hi, hey, Roger. Brian Wood Dude says he's just got back. Nick Agar, heat your heart out. Brian's the new king. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. A long way to go to catch up with Nick Agar, I would think. He does some beautiful stuff, doesn't he? Mm -hmm. uh, when I watched uh, Colin Wade doing this, I think um, he did. Um, that's the uh, gonk body's far too big. Just looking at it. I may have to make that a bit smaller. We may turn another gonk body just in a moment. Well, it's just put it between senders, won't it? Yep. I'll do it, all right. Oh, be still my beating heart. Hodgepodge Woodworks says. That looks about five now. Uh, Robert says, when you made the comment, it's, you, the time's getting on. He said, Terry, that's just Brian's way of saying I need to pee. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's getting old, you know. I could take that off with a screw, but I'm not going to. No. I'll just saw He's it. a saw. Because it's, it really is a. a You're going to spoil it now, don't September. you? And what I'll do while I'm waiting for that is I'll just measure the end, make sure it is five mil that'll go in the hole. Just to be sure, to be sure, to be sure. It's just slightly more than four mil or five mil where I parred it off. I'll do, give it a little squeeze there, it'll be grand. And while it's sitting there, I'll just paint the inside of it black. And look at that draft, so I'll just paint it black. Yeah, we can hear that. So we'll just let that sit now for a minute or two, and then we'll go back to the gonk. Because when I'm looking at the hat, I'm thinking, yeah, I don't like it. It's not the hat's not wide enough. So I'm going to put this back between centers for a second and take a little bit off it. I have to worry about my tenon. Well, use that inside the chuck the other way. Put the tenon in the chuck. Can I put that in there like that? Will that fit in there? Uh, probably will. That way you won't knock it off, will you? Yeah. Probably will. Because you won't be able to put... Actually, what you could do... You no, know what, Brian, no, because you... No, what you could do is you could take the little centre out... Centre out of the tail stock and use the ring centre, because that's going to be covered in it. <sighs> the ring will go over the... the little that's tenor. what I hear you Yeah, knock it out. You know the thin bar you got? Down the back there. Little thin bar. Doesn't reach any more, Terry. It. Doesn't reach any more, Terry, because I cut it. <laughs> Why? Because I didn't like it. Uh, That's what it's for. You got a long, thin screwdriver to knock it out of. I have. Yep, yeah, that would work. Oh, it's not long enough either. But don't put your hand over, over the end because you'll knock it straight. Yeah, 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 yeah I know. I know. I kind of got that. <laughs> I kind of I kinda worked that, Terry. I kind of figured Ow. that out. Why would you? <laughs> Why would you cut the bar? That was the proper piece for that tool. Ah, uh, screwdriver's not long enough. Why did you cut the bar? Uh, because it was in my way. I hated it. It was a nuisance of a thing. Well, I'll tell you what I've got. Big long Allen keys. I've got giant oh, no, Allen Sandy's keys. got a question for Terry. Did you manage to fit a loo in your new workshop? Oh, no. So... no, I didn't. Andy. I cut I cut it, Terry, because it was annoying. But I knew I had one of these that, that would do the same job. You see, perfect. Right, okay. <laughs> Just checking. No. Ward Wilson's in, and no. Ward. I was lucky. Hey, Ward. Good evening, Ward. So I need another. I'm just going to screw this in here. So I'll put my step sander in the chuck because it has a flat that the jaws will catch on. Just there. If you as a if it just has a Morse taper on it, don't be doing that. 
But if that has a flat piece, we'll work away. Des Barmore's got to go. Catch you later, Des. Right, Des. Take care, Des. Thanks for coming in, mate. Well, that was my net. And that can go on there. Let's see, can we get this in the middle so it looks like... Ah, that's my finger. <laughs> Sorry. I can't find it. can't find it in. <laughs> my finger's not that thin. <laughs> ah, that's not too bad. It's close enough. Close enough, because you could turn it around again now, anyway. Mean, yeah. It'll round up anyway, yeah. Yeah, well, it will, it will, it will. <laughs> uh, take this little bogey. Oh, it's my light. I don't know about it. Don't worry yeah, about okay. it. I'll just take it in a little bit here first. So I get it round. And that's where I need it to go a little bit smaller. It's just here. The rest of it's okay. Just so they can stick on the cloth. And let's go back this way then. Then I do have a pillar drill instead of a loo. Floor it, standing Terry? one. Ben's asked, Ben said a loo in a workshop takes some space. You can replace it with a, a replace that bucket with a nice pillar drill. And I do have a floor standing pillar drill. And that takes me back round to where the bottom is, so that should be fine. We'll just Perfect. leave it at that. And then just give that another little finish there. And before we actually... Oh, there we go. Just test that, just to see. Uh, mucho better. It's got a very big heart now. We'll see what it looks like. We Paul Gavner says, hello, isn't that what the shavings are for? <laughs> Go yeah, there, that's right. Blame the dogs. <laughs> we, uh, the shavings, done. Oh, brilliant. Put this on. Put this on. We'll put that on last. Uh, and now we need a hole for his nose. So let me just... Oh, I need to make I'll a nose. nose yet. You've got to make his nose. I've made a nose yet. What am I doing? Um, this. You're rushing. Take this one. Yeah, panicking now. Take your time. Take your no, time. Panic. no panic. Oh, even even an hour. And a oh, quarter. is that all? Oh, yeah. Okay. That's right then. I mean, we've had enough, but you've only been an hour and a quarter. There's no problem. <laughs> Cheers, Terry. <laughs> Joe's still alive, and she's back or what? I'm not yet. Oh, yeah, you're there. Okay, I never did for a while complaining. That's so. all. Just, just, just absorbing <laughs> the information. <laughs> <laughs> don't, uh, don't you listen, Joe? Don't you listen? <laughs> I'm not. I'm just planning my ways of re revenge. Revenge. I told you. Sweet revenge. revenge plotting. <laughs> right. Spare timber might be a bit on the big side. But sure, we'll soon get rid of it. Chop it off away. Okay? Won't we'll rattle then. That'll be good. <laughs> Paul Finley has just put it in the chat. He says, slow down, Brian. I yeah. know. I'm forever telling him to slow down. I've got tools everywhere here. I don't know what I'm doing. This is badly it organized does. this evening. Slow down a bit, Michael. You're making just a nose. That's what you're making, is it? That's yeah, the only I, thing I, left I, to no, make. No, I need a nose. So, uh, so yeah, just a nose. Just part it off then, about an inch from the chuck, then you won't need the tail stock and you just make a little round nose then, can you? I've got it. You'll take your gloves off, Brian, before people moan at you. Oh, yeah. I can't. I, right enough. Yeah. yeah, and you wipe your nose with the back of your hand. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> silver nose. <laughs> I know, a silver nose, yeah. So we'll just do a little bowl, guys, just to rough that out. Mick Jew says you're show Brian's showing off tonight with all these different chucks. That's because he can, Mick. Yeah, if you got him, use him. Yeah, or lose him. Exactly. So when I was watching Cole when he said this is this is like a skew cut. So you just rub the bevel, lift the tool, use the bottom wing, and use the bottom wing as a skew. Just like that. Could he use a skew? Could he use the skew? Could he use a skew? Didn't use a skew, don't care. I had a ball gauge in my hand, so I used it. And we'll just round this end off if it stays in the chuck.
How big's the nose? We're gonna get it proportionately, and we don't want it too big. I don't know. Oh well, you might like a big nose. It's gotta be proportionate to the job. Well, isn't a gong all about having a big nose? Well, I don't know. Yeah, I think so. I've never all I'm trying to achieve is a bit of a sphere. And I'm not very good at spheres. So we'll have a go. I'm sure something close will be fine. Yeah. If it's a flat sphere, then it means he's been punched in the nose. The Viking probably <laughs> yeah. would have been. It's my job. Oh, but an axe mark across the. Yeah, an axe across the nose as well, and a bit of red line for blood. <laughs> well, we could do that too. Yeah, a bit atmospheric, isn't it? Right. Well, let's try and get this a bit round out the front here. He's ahead of you, Robert. You don't need a hand because he's put a spigot on the end of the. Yeah, it's going directly onto so the body. It'll go right into the body. You obviously weren't paying attention. I think that's not too bad. I think I'll. It's fine, I'll, Brian. I think I'll live with that. And again, I need a little five mil. You gonna paint that red or not? Uh, the bike is not having red noses. I don't think they are, are they? Uh, they would be in this winter, wouldn't they? Well, it'll be a bit cold in Denmark, won't it? So they might have. Measure. That's four, three mil. It's about four, Terry. Yeah, look a bit It'll thin. Do. It'll do. It'll do. A lot of people use um, spanners, don't they, to adjust their sizes? Yeah. Yeah, I have a couple done. Old spanners, I just sharpen the edges on them. Perfect. Yeah. You know, I looked for a 5 mil spanner today and I can't find one in my workshop anywhere. I haven't got a 5 mil spanner. The smallest one I've got is 6 mil. Yeah, you don't get a 5 of a tool set. No, you won't get a 5. You have to buy it separately. Not a lot of people use 5 mil nuts. I wouldn't have thought so, no. Yeah, a bit small. And we'll leave you most natural, a, I think. In a kiddies mechano set. That's about the best round sphere you've done in ages, Brian. Well it's, done. It's, it's actually not bad, actually. That's really good. I'm just kind of looking at it and thinking, hmm, that's not too bad. Hmm. So he's going to have a spalted nose, but never mind. Yeah, looks like it's running. Fine. Anybody think it was getting better this day? We would. You get almost getting to the stage where you, you could have a badge. No, a badge? What? <laughs> Just being about a little bit and heat that sanding sealer up so that it dries. And we'll pop that off with the old salt. And I'll not do what we Val, we Val does, hmm. which scares the living at daylight so me eat Val if you're in. Well, she was in earlier. She was. Burns a lathe on and puts a saw up against it. Yeah, no, no, that's not good. It's not a good. It's not a good plan. Oh, I'm quite pleased with that. We knows next. Let me see. Yeah. Does it? Does it suit the hat? Yeah. But we want that at the back. We want that at the front. I'll just mark this here so that I can know where I'm going. Right there, Jamming says, I don't mean to brag, but I own a four mil spanner. <laughs> <laughs> so do I, Ben. <laughs> yeah, Spider Smith says, you know. Spider Smith's question Can one of you guys show how to sharpen a spanner uh, to do the cut? See it used yeah. loads of times, but fig can't figure it out. Never figured it out. Simple. The outside edge of the open end, just. Um... 
edge. Shamp Ro cut it down to a point, to a, to a sharp edge. So if we go with this one, if we go with this one here, whatever you have. If we go with this spanner here, it's the outside edge of the upper edge. This one. Isn't that right? Oh, you're on the wrong yep. one. Oh, right, no, no, you're fine there. Right, well. yeah. so if I took that and sharpened it from there to there, and just put yeah, a just sharp move edge the spanner here. off the wood because it's confusing. The, oh, is not it? in the pic ah. picture. Put your grey board down. That's better. Right, so there. That's it. Now, if I just get a marker. I'll show you. At least I think this is what it is, and these guys it will is. correct me if I'm wrong. Mm -hmm. But uh, that'd be unusual if I am. Uh, all right, sharpie, black sharpie. So if I if I take that and just black out that bit, if I just grind that off now, we're left with a sharp Rub on point the grinder, up here. Yeah. A nice sharp edge there. All right, just go over to my linisher here for a second. If it's switched on, even. Or is that going to burn his fingers? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Something Just like checking. that. Just <clears throat> checking. That's it. Now, you can prove that now, Brian, because you'll put your tool rest back in, and you'll turn it roughly to size of that spanner oh, that God. piece and then you'll use that bit to use it as a gauge yes dear just to show spider spin yes dear I'm doing it, yeah. and the rest of the people who are and interested everybody else, and everybody else who's who couldn't interested yeah, so you really grind that, up all your old spanners that's not that's not too bad no. so you turn so then you turn that turn work. your piece down yep. turn your piece down to what you want but not to the size, just oversize. Lock the tool rest is a better good thing. Yeah, but out. So it's just about somewhere about there. Just oversize. And you get your spanner onto the tool rest. Engage the bottom and the top should cut the mark. There you go. Perfect. There you go. There you go. How's that? Is that okay, Happy? Spider? So there you go. That's how it's done. You grind the top one. It's the top one they use because it's the cutter. Yeah. It becomes the, the top cutter. One is the wood coming over? It's going past the cutter then. And that's, I don't know what degree, that, what angle that is. It must be about 20 degrees or something, 15, 20 Doesn't degrees. really matter. You can grind it shallower if you like. Well, it's not a problem. Yeah. So there you go. And, oh, and if you thought about, if you think about it, if you're doing small stuff like that, if you grind the sides as well, so they're sharp. You can also cut the sides at the same time. Mm, pretty good, yeah. Right, where was I? Flat. Right, that's, that's everything I need to do there now. I think I'm finished turning now. <laughs> Am I finished turning now? This is the thing. Oh, wrong key. Uh, yeah, you know, I think ben, so. Do you know what, Ben? I really do worry about you sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see that now. And Laurie says clever. <laughs> Very clever. Yeah, that's oh, the man, way ben. Ben's put... <laughs> If, if you're using an adjustable spanner, you can have any size. Oh, wait, that's a part and tool. That's correct. <laughs> that's correct, correct man. Ben. <laughs> Genius. I do worry about Ben sometimes, I do. And Laurie's in. But he's good fun. Hi, Anne. said that. Hi, Anne. Have you? Did Never you? mind. Yeah. She just said clever with the spanner. That's what Daddy okay. said. Oh, yeah. Keep up, Joe. It's actually getting a bit cool on there, guys. It's twenty-two point. Spider Spib says that is perfect. Thanks, guys. A new spanner oh. on the on the way. Sorry not for problem, holding mate. it live. Not You're not problem, holding it yeah. live, mate. No, hold on. That's what we're here for, mate. Trying to impart a bit of knowledge, have a bit of fun first and foremost. Have a bit of fun, and then impart a little bit of knowledge if, if we can. Uh, now, let me just. I don't like the way that heart sits. What have I done there? Done something wrong there, it's not sitting flush. Probably didn't drill the hole straight. Then. Oh, I know it's not the hole, Terry. I know what it is. It's the spigot, you've bent the spigot, haven't you? Uh, no, it's not the I haven't bent the spigot. It's just uh, when I've cut it, I've cut it a little bit of an angle this way. Uh, so it's kind right. of, it needs to be in that way. That way. So I'm going to fix it. Back in the chuck. Back in the chuck. Claire's joined us. Good evening, Ruby. Hi, Ruby. Oh, Ruby. Hi, Ruby. Hi, Ruby. 
Well, at least this time I've got a hole in the bottom that I can that I can nearly find. The only trouble is, Brian, you can't get to the bottom with that cup chuck on there. I, I think I can. Well. Oh, um, I'll get. I'll, I might get. I might get close enough to just, to, and then I can take it off with a little chisel. Just Without moving the spigot. It's going to be interesting. Yeah. But I'm just going to take my skew and just do a little. Or we'll put on a glue up. chuck. Put on a glue chuck. No, 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 I'm not going to be bothered. I'll just do this first. Yeah, that's about as close as I can get there. Mm -hmm. And I should be able just to take that off with a little uh, sharp chisel. Take the little bit that's left off. Yeah, that'll do. I'll get that. Yep, give me a second. I'll get rid of that. Uh, Professor says chisel. the fluffy bit is quite disturbing. We've already been through that already. <laughs> off. Rose asking no, it's if not Michelle's Michelle bathroom. bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> Stop already. Children. I'm said a word. Well, basically, all I'm doing here, guys, is I'm just taking a, a, a little sharp chisel and I'm just going down the side of the, the tannin and just knocking that remaining little bit off. And that should allow me to get that in. Where did you get so those 50 is, pence chisels? Oh, I know, cheap. <laughs> they, they were, uh, they're called Globe Master Blimey. Carry. <laughs> I didn't what buy them. I got I got them bought to me. Somebody was at a car boot sale and bought them. Somebody didn't like you. Somebody I was starting to worry when he said sharp. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then he produces produces that yellow ouch. Well, I, was sharp. Like, oh, I was like, oh, that's all right. That's one of those chisels. It'd be all right. You don't cut yourself with that. <laughs> he won't cut himself with that. Yeah. What are you like? You just need to stop it. Right. Anyway, here we go. Let me let Jason me get on. Says, my... Looks like a dog might be running around without its tail. Or its ear. It's a dog's ear. Uh, he just says you should have done a plum beard. Or some would say it would have been a dog's breakfast. Right, so I need to make, uh, I've got a hole for the nose. Now I need to make a hole for the shield. So I've just measured that. So there's the nose there. So we want the shield to be on the side, but just slightly forward. Towards forward, yeah. So there. So that kind of angle, somewhere ish. Four mil drill. That'll be far enough. And we'll just give it a little test that, see will it fit. Nope. Six mil. No, that's Two. a five mil drill, but we'll just give it a little wiggle because it's just not quite exactly five mil. Just a little wiggle should secure that. There we go. That's going to work. And the hat's going to go on now. That's fine. So now we have to fix the beard. And the way we're going to fix the beard is we're going to use this stuff called Fabri-Tac. Emma Fabri sells that as well. Emma sells it. And it's £6.50 a tube, I have to tell you. Yeah, on Amazon it, as well. Holy moly. But, but it goes a long way. The one stuff, tip man. that Emma did give us was this little bit screws off. Oh, sugar. And the glue runs out. And, well... I just squeezed it when I was turning the telly, as you do. Emma said, block that up, because it's a complete pen. But anyway, I'm not going to tonight. But what I need to do next is line this up and figure out where my no. nose is. And just put a hole in this. Now, Emma used to teach that you cut a little slit, but she doesn't anymore. And the reason for that is, it doesn't really work. But what she hole. said was, just take your scissors and just cut a little hole. You could use a punch if you wanted. But just cut a little hole, see? Uh, so your, yeah. so your nose can come through, okay? And now we're going to take our fabric glue and stick it on there, all the way along that edge. And then we'll come down here a bit, just a little bit. And we can glue the rest on as we go. So that's that. And we'll stick this on. Where is my nose? What do you do with my nose, Terry? Your face. Your face. I've got my nose and I've got my fabric ready to go. 
Whoops, nearly dropped that. There. Put the nose through the hole. Ish. Line it up with my with the face. And then I'm going to take one side at a time and just stretch it out round and glue it on. And I want it to just come up just, just to the edge. Thanks, Steve. And then come back this way and do the same thing. There we go. Don't use super glue. I tried the first one I did with super no. glue. <laughs> that came Stick through the fingers first. to it. And I stuck my fingers to it. If you watch it, if you <laughs> watch it, Emma's... For a week. Yeah. If you, where'd my nose go? Oh, your snout's gone. Dropped on the floor. Oh, you got to glue your nose in. Shaving. Yeah, no, I'll do that now. But I just used it to locate it, Terry. I know you did. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to flick the hair up there so that I can get the, the nose glued in. And I'm going to use a bit of super glue for the nose. So can I set that there and lean it against that? That'll do. A little bit of thick CA. Medium would do if you haven't got thick. And I'm just going to put a little blob on the end of that. I'll just do it over here. He's not going to glue himself to the gonk, Mick. There we go. There's the super glue. And there's a tiny little bit of super glue on the end of that now. And I just need to push that through there. And get it in the hole. And I'm just going to squeeze it around until I get that spalting in the place that I want it. And that's the nose on. There we go. That's his little beard. And we'll do the same thing with the uh, shield, which is around this side. Put a little bit of super glue down the hole. Are you going to punch a hole in the beard or not? Nope. Won't need it. And I'm just going to screw that in there. Won't need it. I'm just going to tuck the beard back in there. Like that. <laughs> Give that a wee clean up with the airline. Because it's got dust on it now. Quick, yeah, quick, blow, quick blow dry for his beard. And last to go on is the hat. So again, that's just going to get super glued for tonight. Oh, that's running all over the place. I've seen you trouble that. with them metal tubes. The one I bought off of Amazon was a like a bottle. All oh, right, no, maybe better. Let me just get that tucked in there out of the way. Some loose fibres there. Let me get rid of that. You come back around there, Mr. Gunk. And there. What's happened there? Oh, needs combed. Give it a wee comb. There we go. We'll just comb his little beard for him. And his beard might be a shade long. But, might be. But we can easily trim that if we need to. Uh, and we're going to just stick this on. A little bit of thick super glue on there. Stick the old lid on. Make sure you get it right for the horns. That's what I'm doing. There. And then we've got two horns. And I'll test fit them first. And I'll talk you through how to make the horns in a minute. The horns are too. There isn't an axe. He hasn't had time to do an axe, Graham. Make that hole a little bit bigger. He would have had time, but he'd been talking so much. <laughs> couldn't get word in, I couldn't get word in edgeways for Terry. So we'll just give this a little bit of a sand. Now, the reason he didn't turn one is because uh, the axe is because he'd have to make an arm and a hand for it. Yeah. But this it, took long enough anyway. Snappy roaring. Well, I don't want to be doing that. Oh, I just did. I knew you would do that. It was Terry's fault. <laughs> I don't want to. I was just said you should put a saddle on uh, Morris. <laughs> he'd have a, he'd have a, his gonk have a warm house. Oh, that's a good idea. 
nice one. Oh, I can't believe I did that. Who made you to make that thing? Never mind. I did warn you. I know. I know you did. You're a genius after the fact. Now you've got to <laughs> cut the other horn down and make it the same size. No, I've just glued this one back together. Oh. It'll be fine for now. I'll make a new set of horns for it. But I just need this hole a little bit bigger. I don't understand why it doesn't fit. Perhaps this is a 6 mil drill instead of a 5. No, it's not. It's a 5 mil drill. Right, I'm just going to set that in there for now because yeah, I'm not going to... Yeah. Yep, that doesn't fit either. Make it a little bit bigger. Let's see what that ground this time. Let me just get that screwed right to its right. <laughs> get rid of that bit of sandpaper. <laughs> Come here, Mr. Gonk. Tuck that bit of hair in. You're an untidy looking so and so. <laughs> Tuck that bit of hair in there. And behind the shield, there we go. That's the one. I just pull a little bit of hair out there for a moustache. Let me just give them that. You'll see this in a minute, guys. Baked soda's got to go. Bye bye. Take yeah, care, man. Brendan. Bye for now. Bye, Brendan. And I'm just going to remove a little bit of his beard. You're cutting the beard, eh? Well, I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm doing. I'm, I'm actually going to show you how to do it. <laughs> um, I thought you was going to gone in the house to get the one you prepared earlier. <laughs> no, no, I'm just trimming the bottom of his beard off. So he sits on his. So he just sits on his beard, like so. There we go. Change your camera. There we go. And here's his war horse. <laughs> <laughs> Maurice, the stallion. Mm. Maurice, the stallion. Put the bigger board up for you. <laughs> Lewis says nice war rat. <laughs> hey! You. War, war rat, that's you. it, yeah. I'll give him to put his ears back at you. That's him, that's him putting his ears back at you, Lewis, so you be careful there. So there you go. One little gonk. Excellent. And... Yes, wet with fingers and give him a little bit. Yeah, well, you ain't twiddling up, is it? Yeah, you got a little it. bit of a tweak there. He gets a little bit of a tweak of a moustache. Fall down a wee bit. There you go. There you go. One little gonk. Just slide it forward a bit, Brian, so the ears. Is the, the, uh, that's it. That's better. The ears were the, the, the sticker behind was obscuring the ears with the same colour. So if I just go on around yep. a wee bit for you. There he is. Viking gunk. One lot of Viking gunk. Super <laughs> I'm warm, eh? Good job, man. <laughs> nice to eat your model for that, Terry, said Andy. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right, Andy. That's about right. I don't mind. I'll put this little, uh, I'll put this little thing back in, Terry, before I lose it. Yeah. So, there we go. Let's put, uh, let's put his ears back up again. One little gonk. Have fun with that, guys. I hope you have a have a go. Make some gonks. I think everybody maybe has made gonks already. I don't know. Lovely. Everybody's with nice comments. Ruby says, lovely. Very nice, Brian. Cracking jobs, this spider's bib. Lovely old. Reminds me. And, and, and Jam says, nice great job, Brian. Re reminds me of Wayne. That's a bit, isn't it? That's a bit, actually. That's a nice shield as well, so. There we go. That's that uh, live done. Remember. Let me bring you guys back in from the background. And uh, we'll see if there's any questions. I can't get my mouse to move. Well, it's you just moved nice. him. He's down next to the gong. Oh, I <laughs> the see. Oh, no. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up, Terry. 
<laughs> so there he is. Uh, let me go there. So is there anybody, any questions on oh fur? What to show? Yeah, you gotta show me to cut the fur. So it's, uh, right now, there's two ways to cut the fur. Let me just do some of this first properties. I can figure it out. And you're going to show us how to make the horns. I'm not going to show you, but I'm going to tell you. I'm going to discuss how to make the horns. Oh, I'm right, just okay. Not well, you to... just said I'll show you how to make the horns. Yeah, I lied. Dr. Bob <laughs> says a little bit of moustache wax would help, Brian. It would, yeah. 100% it would. Can I tilt that the wrong way? It's pan I want. Come back that way. There you go. So there you go. I'll put him in the background there a little bit. Put that in the background a little bit. So, to make the... Uh, Put yourself on full screen. Oh, there we go. We can full we screen. see us. Uh, close that. Close that. Uh, let's go to the overhead. Now, there's two ways to cut fur. And I'll use this this uh, cheap bit of fur here. This, this came... In the let me go to the overhead. Sorry. You're not. There you go. There you go. This it. is a cheap piece of fur that I used. I bought this off eBay. I went into the women's fashion section and I bought a gilet for two pounds fifty. I think it was two quid or two pounds fifty. I paid for it and I just cut, just took the seams out of it and we got left with loads of fur. Now, there's two ways to cut fur. One is to have your scissors and cut it from underneath, but make sure that your scissors go underneath the fur itself, so you're just cutting the material. But it seems to wiggle take... It, wiggle it between for, the fur. For, for, it takes forever. Okay, so here's how I do it. Skull wool. <laughs> Stanley knife. <laughs> Stanley wool. knife. Oh, Stanley knife. Yeah. Stanley knife. And all you do is do a light, nice, light cut. Don't be going too hard at it. Not enough. So good sharp blade. Until it's I'm just going to say that blade is in upside down. Yeah, yeah. Anytime <laughs> no, you want to put a new blade in, Brian. So there it goes. So then you've just scored that enough. So you went through the, mate the material itself without going through the hair. And then you can get your scissors in there. It's even much easier to cut that. And then just, <laughs> I, I just kind of work my way through it. Uh, okay. Hodgepodge says, go... quit lying, Brian. That was your lying cloth from your adolescent years. <laughs> you're busted. You're busted. <laughs> All I can hear is Ruth in the in the other room screaming with laughter. And there we go. So so if you see how that comes apart now, if you watch it on this side, when it comes apart, <laughs> you're left with a fur. <laughs> Look at that. that. <laughs> see? And you're not cutting me the fur. And got out, me and Ruth got out words. But if you just if you just cut it with your Stanley knife like that, you end up with no fur, see? You just cut oh, through God, the fur as well. Genuine you know mammoth. I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you end up like a woolly mammoth. Yeah. So you got to just cut through the backing material, and then just peel it apart, and that's what you end up. Right. So that's how you cut the fur. Well done, that's two methods of cutting the fur. <laughs> now, to make the horns. Yeah. Piece of wood, on lath. Turn it to the diameter. Big, no, no well, you can't. It matter. Four hours later. <laughs> Four <laughs> hours later. No, no, hold on, hold on. Guys. Well, I'll, tell you, I'll do it right. I'll, I'll, I'm not going to do it, but I'll, I'll show you what I mean. You mount it in the shop. It's very, very simple. It's very simple, but not easy. Take that out. Pop a chuck on. Oh, no, small chuck. Put that small chuck on there. Oh, plus in the chuck. It's educational tonight, guys. It is. Isn't it, Jeff? For sure. And he and says, then, start with the tree. It's called Moofies. <laughs> oh, well, see, you, you may laugh because just wait a second and you'll see what happens. This is how you do it. This is how we do it. Are you creating like a ring on the end? That's exactly what I'm going to do. So, what you do now is you just get yourself whatever diameter you need. Let me just make sure that's okay. I'll be all right. So, whatever diameter you think you're going to make your horns. So, let's say that's it. 
Now what I do is I kind of take my skew and I dig it in a little bit. Just take it, undercut it a little bit. And then I take my ring tool. And we're just going to make a ring. Slow that down a little bit. There's not far too fast on the shelf. The way Colwyn Way does it is he uses a, 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 a beading tool first and cuts the bead here. But you can do it if you just hold that at that angle. And then just roll it over, cut through one side. Fred Giller is in, by the way. Hello, Fred. And then change, turn it over hey, and do the same thing again and cut through the other side. And if you're lucky, it doesn't fall apart. But this is a rubbishy piece of wood for doing it with. So there's the ring. So basically an uncaptive ring. Oh, God, I dropped it. Paul Gavin uncaptive... wants to know, is that a horn cutting skew? <laughs> That's a horn cutting yeah. skew, yeah. <laughs> so you basically end up with a, with a, a, um, a ring. An uncaptive ring. And then you get yourself a little V block like so. Set it in said V block. Well, what you can do is just break it in half. Set it in the V block. Use your little saw in the V block. Hold it down there. Little saw in I'll the V block. Just break that in half again. Well, you could, but if you'd made a proper ring and it was a harder material, you wouldn't want to. But this way, you get two nice ends. So there you go. So there's your two nice ends, and all you have to do then is uh, sand them off. Oh. And that's it. Yeah, that's how you make them. Perfect. Now, that's not, even, that's not even a proper ring, but that's how it's done, guys. That's the method. That makes sense? Excellent. Those Absolutely. Purposes. Any other questions? Just while I'm in the mood. <laughs> He's in the mood, he says. <laughs> how did you make the gonk, Brian? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, couldn't show us how you done that gonk again. Oh, it's not again. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, Gary. <laughs> oh, my. You're an nightmare, Gary. You're an absolute nightmare. <laughs> right, in the... right, we're done. If nobody else has got any other questions, um, if you want another demo of it, um, have a look at Colwyn Way. He did it about a year ago in one of the Axminster, um, forget what you call that series. Uh, wood turning wisdom or something it's called, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, wood turning wisdom. Yeah. Yeah. Susie wants to know how your horses are before you go. Horses are all fine. They're all out in the paddocks, enjoying life, uh, enjoying the sunshine, eating grass and getting fat. Life is good to be a horse at Brian's place. It is. Uh, I had one of the girls up today. I was teaching her, giving her a little bit of instruction this morning. Uh, she started to play at liberty with her horse, so no ropes. And I gave her a bit of instruction this morning and she enjoyed herself and it was good fun. And I was driving a little tractor up and down to try and distract the horse and it wasn't getting distracted and yeah, all good. Good, good. So do all that kind of stuff. Just the, just the young lady got distracted with a tractor coming towards her. Distracted, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so there we are. We're done, guys. Mm. Uh, who's on? What's the, what day is this? Monday? Who's on what tomorrow? Monday. Anybody? You know? He's on lunchtime. Mark's, Mark's usually on, on on Tuesday evening, I think. Tuesday. Well, he's on sometimes on Tuesday evening. I think Doug covered for him last week. I he don't did know last week, yeah. This week because he was on holiday, but I don't know what that, about this week. I haven't seen anything, haven't heard anything. So Wednesday will be Wayne again. Um, <coughs> Thursday, anybody on a Thursday? You? Not uh, I usually me, I. But I, don't I think um, I think Roy's going to be on on Sunday. Roy the boy? Yeah. Oh, well, Mark's back tomorrow, says Doug Miller. That's good. So, Mark, you'll get the pleasure of Mark tomorrow night. Um, and Wayne on Wednesday. Yeah, Ruby's just said Mark's on as well. Um, me, maybe on I think, Thursday. I don't know. I'm yeah. not sure yet. We'll see how the, how, the, how the week pans out with the horses, etc. 
Um, Friday is uh, Steve. Back on Friday evening. Oh, it's a special on Friday evening, isn't it? Should be. Should be. Yeah. Hopefully. Yeah. Hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> Should be the Easy Wood crew. Should be yeah. Easy Wood. The Easy Wood um, um, owners, basically. Doug and I can't remember the other guy's name. Chris. Me. Chris. Chris. Doug and Chris. That's that. And then we're back to Saturday, not be Wayne again. And then Sunday back to Steve, and then me again on Monday. Oh, God. Yeah, she's right. always going to do Sunday <laughs> evening. Comes around quick, doesn't it? Roy Harry's does videos Sunday. for TikTok, so he can do he can do a YouTube. Harry's on, on Sunday evening, guys. Don't listen to what he says. He's on on Sunday evening. So Roy's a boy. <laughs> none of these excuses. No, Terry, the te temporary tumor <laughs> will be on on Sunday. Anyway, good night, everybody. Say good, good night, everybody. Good Thanks night. for coming in. Hope you enjoyed the banter, and don't forget it. Thumbs up on the way out. I'm if you like the button. Bye bye. Take care, everyone. Bye bye for now. Bye. Bye bye. Bye bye.